Hello, respected people, and welcome back to Respected Minister. Don't forget to subscribe the channel before starting the video. Craig Kelly tweeted, Just the start on the road to net zero. Great news for wealthy inner-city teal voters, Albanese and blackout Bowens. New CO2 regulations are going to reduce the price of a Tesla. But for Tradis that need youths and for those that live in the outer suburbs, or regional areas where electric cars are not practical, they'll be forced to pay up to $13,000 extra for a new car. If electric cars are so great, why does Albanese and Blackout Bowen need to subsidize them and penalize others? Reform Australia. Wait until Labour finds out how angry trade unionists will be from this policy change. Considering they heavily rely on youths and four WDs to do their jobs. Peter 2.0. When you call out that Trotai to fix your plumbing or electrical, that additional price will be added to your call out fee. Gabi. Guess which cars have been needed to clear storm waste from this week? BC councils haven't come to collect and fallen trees won't fit in the back of a small car. The Atsi Giza. The price of electric is going up and as soon as you advise. The house insurance company you're parking an electric car in the garage it goes up if they're still willing to insure your house. Big Papa Pump. I really really want an electric car. But what is powering me charging it? And where are the charging points when? I want to do a road trip? And what is powering them? And how much land is needed to mine for the batteries? Oh, and how expensive is servicing and insurance? Sinwaltz. Bowen Chris too bad you won't be able to charge said Ev's cause. We don't have a decent power supply since Turtle Face Bowen took over. Kesfrom. What about the luxury car tax that was to protect Australian car manufacturing? That no longer exists but has now been co-opted into a climate tax? Rolderelm. They couldn't get a broad carbon tax in. They couldn't get into government with it. Now it's industry at a time. These new taxes are disgraceful. It's impoverishment of the people. Meanwhile, our commodities are given away to big business. Governments by the people, but not for. That concludes our analysis of the Twitter exchange. Share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow political enthusiasts, and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on Australians' politics. Thanks for being with us on Respected Minister, and we'll catch you in the next video. Stay engaged and stay informed.